So anyone who's got F1 2021, we know that the team performance is a bit broken. Like look at this, Aston Martin are seen as the third best team, yet in real life they're currently 7th in the standings and qualify 8th and 10th in each race on the game. And just look at Williams as well at I'm the bottom break there. My monitor. So I thought it would be an interesting idea if I drove the best lap I could in time trial with each car just to see what the true order actually is. And just to make it more reliable, I'm going to do 6 laps in each car and take the average out of the 6 laps to give you one single lap time so let's start off with mercedes and so mercedes had an overall lap time of one minute three point eight one six next red bull had an overall lap time of one minute three point nine oh four aston martin had a lap time of one minute four point three four four next up mclaren had a lap time of one minute three point nine three zero after mclaren ferrari had a lap time of one minute four point three six seven Alpine then had a lap time of 1 minute 4.314. Red Bull's sister team Alpha Torre had a lap time of 1 minute 4.326. Next up Alpha Romeo had a time of 1 minute 4.900. The American team of Haas had a time of 1 minute 5.059. And lastly Williams had a time of 1 minute 5. So for the overall standings of which is the fastest car on F1 2021 is in 10th Williams, 9th is Haas, in 8th it's Alfa Romeo, in 7th place is a surprise of Ferrari, in 6th is Aston Martin, dead in the middle is Alfa Torre, in 4th is Alpine and for the top 3 we had McLaren in 3rd, Red Bull just in front in 2nd and Mercedes topping the charts in first. So here are the performance charts I believe are the real ones for the game and as you can see there is some things which are both off compared to real life and compared to their own comparison charts. So I hope you enjoyed this little experiment and I will see you in the next one.